I think the mission here at Hickory Creek is pretty straightforward. Um, it's simple life, complex wines. Um, when somebody comes here to visit the winery, um, I want everything about it to be simple. Um, we're out in the country. We're in a, a big red barn, like there's a tractor. Um, hang out under the tree, have a glass of wine, kind of forget about everything. Um, really the only thing that should, should be complex at all is the flavor of the wine. I hear from people all the time uh, that it's different here at Hickory Creek than what they experience from other wineries, both here in Michigan and, and around the country and around the world. And I, I think that's for a few reasons. Um, and I'd say really it starts with our staff. Um, the, the staff is really well educated when it comes to wine. Um, most of the team has a certification from the Wine and Spirits Education Trust. Um, there are three or four of us that have degrees in winemaking. And we truly love this stuff and we're passionate about it. And we love talking about it and teaching other people about it. This grant would really go a long way for Hickory Creek Winery. Uh, we sit out here on 38 acres um, of farmland and uh, our, our vineyards really need a lot of attention. We suffered through a couple of really bad polar vortex events, had big plans to do some planting in 2020, but um, you know, COVID threw some curveballs at us and we had to react and totally change our operations and just really wasn't in the cards for us last year. So FedEx has been a big part of our team this year is we shifted our model from um, tastings here on site to shipping a lot of our wine. And uh, you know, FedEx was our, our, our only logistics partner for that. So it would be, uh, I think, pretty special to have a, a partnership with them on the viticulture side of things too. Um, it'd be very meaningful to us.